Here we are in the supermarket. We're standing here with the bare shelves. Look at it. There's absolutely nothing here. The shelves are bare. It's empty. It's empty like Sleepy Joe's brain when you think about it. There's absolutely nothing on the shelf. Look at it. Bare shelves all over the place. They say we're building back better, and yet we have nothing in the supermarkets. We're standing with the bare shelves. Bare shelves, Biden, okay? Empty shelves, Joe. It's a disgrace, believe me. See how the inflation surge is affecting Americans like you all across the country. Senior National Correspondent Rich Edson is here in the Washington area at a grocery store tonight. Good evening, Rich. Hi, good evening, Brett. And throughout the Washington, D.C. area this week, we had plenty of reports and are seeing some pretty empty grocery store shelves. Entire sections of salad, meat, eggs, for example, were bare. Pretty tough if you're on a keto diet. Grocery store workers in the area we spoke with say last week's weather in the Northeast delayed shipments. That's on top of worker shortages and the Omicron COVID-19 surge. Honestly, it looks like... March of 2020, when everybody was stockpiling and the shelves were bare. It's like a Soviet store during uh, 1981. It's horrible. Everything, meat, egg, uh, dairy, certain breads were out, most vegetables. It was, it was all fresh items. And many of the D.C. area stores that were empty Monday and Tuesday are largely stocked this evening, though shoppers are reporting shortages at stores across the country. FMI is a trade group representing grocery stores and food suppliers. They told us the food supply is healthy, though, quote, a combination of several factors from labor and transportation shortages to recent extreme weather events continues to impact the movement of food through the supply chain. These issues can be difficult for grocery stores to predict, as they're often regional. We have the loudest ambulances in the nation. I kid you not on that front. But also back to this story, Brett, there are other trade associations saying that they've got other issues that they have to confront. We heard reports from companies talking about they've had more positive tests in the past two weeks than they had in all of 2020. Those positive tests tests are taking people off the front lines. It's forcing companies to shut down manufacturing lines preemptively, and it's leading to just simply not enough supplies. Now, the Consumer Brands Association says grocery stores typically have a 5 to 10 percent of their items out of stock at any given time. Right now, that unavailability, unavailability number, according to that group, is around 15 percent, especially when it comes to food. Brent? There's a surplus of sirens. Uh, Rich Edson here in D.C. Always. Rich, thank you.